46 racing drivers from 26 countries all around the planet. Hello everybody and welcome to the opening round of the 2016 Italian Formula 4 Championship coming to you from the Adriatic coast of Misano. We're about to get underway with the first of our four races this weekend. Indeed we are green. Off the line it is a drag race between the Argentine Marcus Siebert and the German Mike Schumacher. Schumacher was actually pushed wide out into the grass as they go through the first couple of corners. Siebert, the Argentina, leads down into turn one. A great start also by the driver from Guatemala, Ian Rodriguez. Up into second, there's the Brazilian, Jao Vieira. Number 97 tries the outside and goes through on the Japanese driver, Marino Sato. Punate uses every bit of the racetrack on the exit, the number three car. They go down the first couple of corners. Oh, big move down the inside by the Japanese driver, Marino Sato. He's touched the back of Schumacher's car. Sato has gone wide and he's lost his front wing. Ian Rodriguez locks up the front Pirelli tyre. That allows the Prima Motorsport car of Mick Schumacher up into second spot. Rodriguez loses another spot to yet another of the Prima Motorsport cars. Out front, Siebert continues to lead from the American Juan Correa. Rodriguez in third spot, but he's going to be passed. Nicely done up the inside by number 41. That is Real Gutzman. Rodriguez is going to lose another spot here as well. Siebert, though, coming under a pressure from guess who? Mick Schumacher flames out the exhaust. That Arbath engine. Oh, big lock up there by the Argentine. Schumacher with the bright green helmet all over the back of the Jensen Motorsport driver. Let's watch them through this back section of the circuit. Of course, Schumacher driving for Prima Motorsport, who have won this title twice already. Last year with Aron, and the year before that with the now Williams F1 test driver, Lance Stroll. Schumacher tries the outside. Can he do it? What a move by the German, the Argentine. Siebert has to concede the spot. Schumacher, the son of a gun, has gone through into the lead. The Argentine Siebert back into second spot. So the Prima Motorsport team are first and third. Here's the DR racing driver, Real Guzman, the Mexican. All over the back of the American, up the inside, nicely done by the DR team driver. He's now up into third and on the podium, pushes back Correa into fourth. Oh, big move up the inside. The brakes locked up on that Tata's chassis. Remember, this is a one-make formula. Brilliant racing throughout the last two years, and it's got bigger and better already in 2016. Up the inside is car number 68. That is the American in the max speed entry. Juan Correa, his first year in car racing and doing a superb job out front. Schumacher leads from Goodsman in second spot. 68 is Juan Correa, the American. Then we go back to Siebert, who did start this race on pole position. Siebert tries the inside over the ripple strip. Cannot quite do it. We go through the S's for the final few times on this opening heat of the day. Simone Cunate doing a good job in fifth spot. But out front, no one is going to catch the kid from Germany. Mick Schumacher rounds the last couple of corners here at Masano for the first race of 2016. On the podium last weekend in the first round of the German Championship. And he takes the checkered flag here in Masano to win for the first time in this year's series. Raul Gutzman, the Mexican, takes second place, and Juan Correa, the American, comes home in third. Well, as you can see, the heavens certainly did open just a few moments ago here on the Adriatic coast of Italy. And race number two will start behind the Peugeot safety car here in Misano. Of course, this the opening round of the biggest Formula 4 championship in the world. As we mentioned already, 41 drivers from 26 different nations. Part of the opening round also of the Blink Khan GT Sprint Series. It will be Mick Schumacher to start on pole position. All the drivers in this field obviously using the Pirelli wet tyre. So the Peugeot safety car pulls into the pits this lap. 
Schumacher, as you see, very, very ginger out of that second to last corner. A little bit of wheel spin on the exit. He comes around the final turn to lead the field on to the start finish straight. The flag flies green. The green lights go on. We are racing in race number two. Schumacher will indeed lead down into the very first corner. Let's see if they all get through safely. It will be a big effort. You can see in the background, the lights are on. They very cautiously go through the first couple of corners. So far, no cars have left the track. A credit to these young drivers. There's the Chinese pilot, Yi Ye from Xi'an in China. Just going a little bit wide that time was the Venezuelan driver, Maritio Obeis. There is the Frenchman, Valentin Haas in the blue and yellow car goes wide onto the runoff area. That is going to cost him a couple of positions. It was Devlin Di Francesco, the Canadian also, but manages to rejoin. Valentin Haas makes up one position on the RB driver. Very, very dark conditions here in Masano, car number 33. That is the Japanese driver, Marino Sato, who has just lost out on a position. The Dutchman, Job Van Uter, also goes through. Van Uter and the Frenchman Valentin Haas drag race up the back straight side by side in the rain at more than 200 kilometres an hour. And it seems as though the Dutchman Van Uter will hold on to the position. Meanwhile, out front, it is Correa and Bertinelli fighting for second and third spot. You just saw a moment ago that Correa went a little bit wide. The car snaps sideways under acceleration and he has lost out to the RB racing driver, Diego Bertinelli, who moves up into second place. You can see his team. There is Carlo Dell'Orto on the pit wall saying, go boy, go. And indeed, he's doing exactly that up into second place. Then it is Correa. We go back to the Dutchman, Van Uter who's gone through also the American Juan Correa from second place back into fourth in just the space of three corners. Van Uter now all over the back of the RB racing driver. It's very, very dark, very cold and wet here in Masano. The circuit, Marco Simoncelli as Diego Bertonelli up the inside. They're so close to touching, but brilliant skill from these young racing drivers. None more so shown than from this boy, Mick Schumacher, on his way to victory. Well, he was on the podium last weekend in Germany, the opening round of the Deutsche Series. Of course, that was won seven days ago by Joseph Mawson. But so far, it's been a faultless drive by Mick Schumacher. He comes across the line in the rain to take the checkered flag. Mick Schumacher wins for Prima Motorsport. The Dutchman, Van Uter, as you can see, is delighted with second spot. Bertonelli was third and Correa coming home in fourth. See, the track has dried near the seaside resort town of Rimini. Everyone is on the Pirelli slick and we are racing in race number three. The Jensen Motorsport cars are off the line and into the lead, one and two. It is Seabird and the Dutchman Van Uter further back on the grid. The yellow flag was out. We've had someone stall. So they all go through the first couple of corners. There is Valentin Haas once again, fighting wheel to wheel with Real Goodsman. Haas, Yuri Vips up there also, the Estonian driver. There is the German, Kevin Kratz, car number 20, fighting there with Kunati. 44 up over the ripple strip. Well, he's got the job done. That's the Estonian, Yuri Vips, as they straighten up the back straight at more than 230 k's an hour. Venezuelan driver in car number 25, that's Maurizio Baitz going through the orange car. Yuri Vips goes very wide there. Valentin Haas sideways under braking. Well, the Frenchman has gone through. Vips tries to fight back. Here comes Simone Cunati. Cunati, the Italian, here racing in the Italian Formula 4 Championship. He is only one of seven Italians in the field of 40 plus drivers. He has gone through upper spot into fourth. Front is the RB driver. Oh, Kevin Kratz has gone wide. Giacomo Altuera, car number 10. He watches on. Good run from young Giacomo. Meanwhile, out front, it is Siebert who leads the field. 
the Mexican rail goodsman fighting there with the Russian driver, Jan Leon Schlamm in the number 99 RB racing car. That's Valentin Haas, the Frenchman in the blue and yellow machine, fighting there with number 44, the Estonian Yuri Phipps, who tries the outside. That's the Prima Power entry. Sister car to Schumacher, who's had a brilliant run so far. Nicely done by the German. Number 20, Kevin Kratz. He's gone inside. Oh, but he's overcooked it. He's run too wide. He's going to lose the spot, but they're going to go side by side through the back part of the circuit. Brilliant racing here in the FIA Italian Formula 4 Championship. The black and red car is that of Giacomo Altoia. Out front, though, it is Siebert, the Argentine, who's continuing to lead 41 up the inside, is the Mexican, Real Guzman. He's gone through. Oh, has he? Guzman fighting with your van Uter, the Dutchman, has to go back to third. So it's Jensen Motorsport cars in first and third. Well, Siebert locks the brake. Let's see if that's going to cost him because Real Goodsman, the Mexican, is all over the back of the South American. Let's see if he can do it around the high side. I don't think that's the line, but I think he might just pull it off. Not this time. Siebert closes the door, but he's having to defend like there's no tomorrow. Up the inside, beautifully done. Real Guzman, the Mexican, sideways under acceleration onto the straight. Real Guzman now defensive at more than 200 kilometers an hour. It is going to be Real Guzman, the Mexican, leading him across the line. But the red flag has come out. Well, look at this, Jaden Conright, the American, has mistaken the start-finish straight for the car park at Walmart. That's bad luck for the Californian. It's brought out the red flag and the end of his race. So the race has been declared, which means the driver from Mexico, Real Guzman, will take the win. The Argentine, Marcus Siebert, second, and the Dutchman, Van Uter, was third. ready for the final race of the day here at Misano. The field lining up on the grid will be Schumacher and the Mexican Kutzman on the front row of the grid. As we get ready for the green light on this 4.2 kilometer circuit, we are racing and Schumacher has stalled. Schumacher is going nowhere. Let's see if he's collected. He finally gets the car going. Kutzman will lead down into turn one further back in the field. There is a huge crash. There is one, two carts out, one of the carts into the wall. It looks as though that is the German driver, Thomas Preinig. There's the Brazilian, João Vieira, going through Giacomo Altoe in the black and red car on the outside. But look at the damage off the start. Maurizio Bayitz and Thomas Preinig. The Venezuelan and the German have got less than 100 metres off the start. As it stands, the race is still on. Goodsman still leads up the back straight. Finally, the safety car board does come out here at Masano. Look at the field bunch up on the brakes. Wow, as we said earlier in the broadcast, 41 drivers from 26 nations all around the world. And you saw just about all of them in the single frame there a few moments ago. As they come up into formation behind the safety car here at Masano. The sun is shining at least. There's a very disappointed German, Thomas Breinig walks back to the garage he is out let's take a look at the replay Schumacher did not go anywhere left of screen further back in the field there is Breinig and the Venezuelan driver Maurizio Bayitz wow devastation for both of them we'll have a look at the back of the grid there's one car that stalled but go to the right of screen bang into the fence at about 100 kilometers an hour there goes the German damage to that Tartus chassis the race continues as they go in through via the pit lane. Behind the safety car, this is still race conditions here in Masano. They try and keep the heat into those Pirelli tyres. Official tyre supplier to the Italian F4 Championship. The pace car pulls in this lap. It will be the Mexican Real Goodsman who leads them on to the start finish straight for the restart. The two Jensen Motorsport cars right behind. So it is Goodsman who leads them down into turn one at the Marco Simoncelli circuit. Further back in the field, there goes Cushmani, who's made a good run through. Ian Rodriguez, the Guatemalan driver in car number 45, just runs a little bit wide that time. There is the number seven RB racing car of Sebastian Fernandez, another one of the prolific Venezuelans here this weekend. 
the number 55 car of the Torino Squadra course. That is Federico Irbarne going through in about 14th or 15th spot. Down the back straight of the restart, it remains the Mexican in car number 41. But look at the swarm behind him. They all want to win it and they are after him. Into the slipstream, there's number 97, the Brazilian in the bright black and yellow car, Jao Vieira. He's up behind, it looks as though that might have been the Indian, Kush Mani, who's made a great start. We'll try and catch up with his efforts throughout the race. In fact, there's a Giacomo Altoia being pushed out wide in the number 10 car. Looks as though he's lost a spot to Irbarne, his countryman Juan Correa. In the max speed entry goes through, that's the American pilot. One of two Americans racing this weekend, along with Jaden Conright. It is still Goodsman out front. Big move down into position number five. Looks as though he's got the job done. That is the Estonian. Yuri Vips goes through. Vas gets a little bit sideways. There's Rodriguez in the number 45 black and green car. Up the back straight once again at more than 230 k's an hour. The Canadian Devlin Di Francesco has gone through on the Belgian pilot. Amori Bonduel. Nice move by Devlin. As they come up the back straight, Rodriguez. There is the Brazilian Jao Vieira. Nicely done. Pushes the RB racing driver out wide. Brazilian moves up a spot here at Misano. Let's go back to the leaders now. Big move. Oh, a touch. Kunati and Correa have come together. Well, Kunati stalled it on the ripple strip. That's a very dangerous position. Fires the engine back up. It looks as though minimal damage done, but he's lost about 15 places. A tragedy for the Italian. You're watching Schumacher. Remember, he stalled on the grid. He's having to fight his way back through, and Correa pulls out. So there's obviously damage to his car from that incident. Juan Correa is out of the race after coming together with number three, Simone Kunati. This is your leader, still the Mexican Real Goodsman, under all sorts of pressure from the Jensen Motorsport driver. Car number 18, that is Marcos Sibo from Argentina. A brilliant young talent. He's been racing for 12 years now, ever since 2004 when he started in karting. His second year in car racing, he's all over the back of the Mexican driver. Having to play is one of the Prima Motorsport cars. There is the blue and yellow car of Haas going through. Rodriguez in 45, just head of the Brazilian Vieira. Good drive this has been so far by the Indian. Kush Amini, he sits there in fourth spot. Number five is Mick Schumacher. He's now got past the Guatemalan. Schumacher picks up another spot as Goodsman still defends. Round the outside, Siebert. The Argentina, can he get the job? They are side by side through turn number one and two. Marcos Siebert from Argentina now leads the race and this is gonna cost Goodsman. The Mexican has gone from first to third in just three corners. Up into second spot from Estonia is Yuri Vips. Brilliant drive. You can see him go through in second spot. Kushmani up into fourth. There's Valentin Haas, the Frenchman, on screen now. He's coming under attack himself from the German. Mick Schumacher goes through and takes the Frenchman. Nicely done by the German. The bright green helmet. Remember, he started on the front row of the grid. Did Mick Schumacher, but he stalled it off the line. He's now having to fight his way through the field. And he has just taken the Frenchman, Valentin Haas. So let's recap what has been a sensational start to the final race of the first round of the FIA Italian F4 Championship. It is still the Argentine, Marcos Siebert leading, but only just from the Estonian Yuri Vips. Rayo Gutzman is in third spot. The Indian driver from Bangalore, Kushmani, holds down fourth, and he is being chased by the German, Mick Schumacher. Siebert and Vips going at it side by side up the back straight, but the Argentine holds him off for one more lap. Can he withstand the pressure? He's having to go defensive. Here is Yuri Vips. Brilliantly turned out car and he's very, very quick in it as well. You can see he's all over the back of that identical Arba Tata's car right in front of him onto the start finish straight. Sun start to set here at the Marco Simoncelli circuit. Starting to run out of laps now. Go back in the field, there is Kushmani. There is Schumacher, lots of break as they come into the right-hander. Runs very, very wide. 
we take a look further back in the field, and oh, we've had it coming together with the American Jaden Conroy and the Russian Artem Petrov. Well, the Cold War continues because the American and the Russian are both out. We get back to this battle for 7th, 8th and ninth spot. It is Marino Sato from Japan. It is the Belgian driver Amore Bonduel and the Dutchman Lennon Hugenbaum. Brilliant racing this, the opening round of the Italian F4 Championship. Phenomenal racing. They're not even using any of the bitumen on turn number two. Straight over the ripple strip. And Schumacher now gets a run on the Dutchman. It's forced out a little bit wide, but Van Uten has gone in too deep. Schumacher up the inside and has gone through. Van Uten tries to fight back, but he's forced out offline. They're still going to be side by side. Schumacher, oh, look at that. Four wheel drift like a WRC car. But Schumacher holds on and takes the place. Moves the German up into fifth position. The Dutchman, Van Uten, is back into sixth. This is the fight for fourth spot. Sitting there in car number 38 is the driver from Bangalore in India, Kushmani. He's done a great job this weekend in his car racing debut. The driver who now lives in London. Big Chelsea Football Club fan. Very likeable young boy. And wow, doesn't he know how to drive a racing car? Kushmani fighting up there with Rayol Goodsman, the Mexican in car number 41. And we go back to Schumacher. Just throws a tear off from his visor as he tries to hunt down the leaders. Remember, the German did start on the front row of the grid, drop back to 17th off the start. It's been a pretty good comeback, but it's still going to be a big fight if little Mick can make the podium. Marcos Siebert, the Argentine under tremendous pressure, coming up to a lap car, which ironically enough is another Jensen Motorsport car. That is number 20 of Fabio Schreira. Let's hope he does not hold up the battle for the lead. The opening round the Italian FIA Formula 4 Championship. The last lap board comes out for Seabet. Bips is going to try everything to win the opening round of the 2016 series, which will visit such legendary circuits as Imola and Mugello before concluding at Monza in October. So Seabet on track for a victory, but he's got an Estonian in the form of Yuri Bips all over his rear wing. Let's see if he can hold on for the final few corners as the sun starts to set over the Adriatic coast here in Italy. What a brilliant opening start to the 2016 series it's been. I don't think Vips is close enough. Under brakes, you saw the car squirm and squiggle sideways under acceleration now over the ripple strip. I think he's going to do it. Hopefully his teammate does not get in the way. The driver all the way from South America, from Argentina, Marcos Sibert, the final few corners. Up the back straight for the final time for the Argentine driver. He's already tested the GP3 car in Abu Dhabi and he's going to start the 2016 series in the best possible way. There's Schumacher going through. Car number five still in fifth. Has been a good recovery and good points at least for the German. Oh, Siebert's locked up a break in the final few corners. The blue flag's coming out. Is traffic going to play a part? Is Siebert going to hold on? Yuri Phipps is going to try and challenge, but I don't think he's going to do it. The driver from Argentina is going to do it. He wins it. Marcus Siebert, the opening round of the Italian F4 Championship. Yuri Phipps across the line in second place. Then the Mexican, Rayol Goodsman. Good drive by the Indian Kushmania to come home in fourth spot. And Mick Schumacher recovers from 17 to finish in fifth. What a sensational start to the opening round of the biggest, most international Formula 4 championship in the world. From here, the series moves to Adria International Raceway in May. But for now, on behalf of all the team at WSK Promotion, we'll see you next time for the FIA Italian Formula 4 Championship.